And then you look here at event management and SCOM. What we've done here is when you set up, uh, you deploy and operate um, System Center Service Manager, there's the, the generic event manager process that you see in, in MOP and ITIL. Um, you know, we're going to monitor consoles, we're going to uh, control services. Well, um, there's that generic process, and then there's the specifics for operations manager. So this basically covers things for the person who'd be the lead uh, tech on operations manager about, okay, what you need to do with planning design. Here's the event management process. Here's how tickets get cut in uh, service manager notifications specifically to ops man. Okay, and then here it's similar for the config manager. That's a, it, it, you, what should be emerging here is a set of usual suspects uh, relative to these deployments, and uh, they need to know very crisply what do I, I don't want to hunt around in documentation. I don't want to take a five-day class that covers ninety percent of stuff I don't care about. What do I need to know as a person who owns config man relative to this product? Okay, what are the connectors? What do I need to do on the config man side? So things like queuing up packages how to use the self-service portal to deploy packages, uh, the different processes the, um, uh, for deployment, uh, the ones that use um, uh, require authorizations, the one for managers and ones that don't. I mean, a simple example is um, the uh, workflows in service manager require um, that the in, the, um, uh, in your OU, that the in AD, your manager be uh, in there. So if uh, if you have a software package that requires manager approval, there's no manager in there. The workflow just doesn't work. So that's something that you know the AD person needs to know about, uh, but then the config manager relies on. So you can see that by role, we, we consider these questions, we build it into the training so they can get quickly up to speed, quickly getting on with it. Um, the next set of three roles here are, are largely process roles. So somebody in your organization owns, uh, it might be a group of people, an individual owns change management, is responsible for it, um, owns problem and incident management. We'll talk about these three together. Um, the, the thing is, uh, as a change manager, as a problem manager, as the incident manager, for planning and design, what do I need to know? There's all these tailoring of configuration parameters, uh, workflows, etc. Uh, there's what's in the tool out of the box, you know, how, how uh, uh, certain kinds of changes are handled, uh, how problems are handled, and then uh, the reporting for incident problem and change. There's the out of the box, then there's what we do, there's, then there's what MOP and IDLE say. Okay, what are we going to do here? Are we going to take the out of the box? Are we going to modify our processes? Are we going to modify the tool? Is it a question of just uh, configuration or, you know, add, a, add, a, add an item to a drop down list? Or is it customization? We need custom workflow for, for example, service requests. Or urgent changes, it, you know it, that it, it walks you through that that stuff. So these are process oriented, and they say, "Here's the process, here's the tool. What do you want to do?" And then they go through the life cycle of planning and, and design to deployment and operation. Okay, and then there's four major roles that are outlined uh, in Service Manager that, that we want to cover, and we give uh, content for that as well. So. The shortest one here is the end user content, and that's really a content for end users around the portal and interacting with uh, uh, contact uh, IT. So here's the portal, here's what you can do with it, here's the typical reasons why people uh, and organizations implement uh, self-service portal, um, et cetera, and um, so it covers that. And then workflow authoring, um, there's stuff you can do in the tool itself. Uh, in the uh, service manager management console, then there's a workflow authoring console, and there's, there's things you can do with uh, hand coding XML or, or using a tool like Silic. Um, that's what the workflow author covers: the tailoring, refinement of, of, of workflows. Um, that content covers, and then IT analysts are what uh, are the group that uh, um, uh, service manager used to refer to. Just generally anybody involved in, in interior support in the IT. Uh, side of the house. So um, people involved in the service desk, in IT operations, tech services, application support, uh, all those technology streams within those, that's IT analysts. And they need to know, understand, okay, I'm an IT analyst. I do manual activities. With, you know, I, I build servers to, to order to, to meet change requests. I, 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 
I do moves, adds, and changes, whatever it is that I do, I do desk side support. Um, what do I need to know about the system? Uh, the general outlines, what's the console like, and how do I do my job using the system, and how does it help me? That's what the IT analyst training covers. And lastly, but not leastly, is the administrator. That's the service manager administrator. They need to do a lot of tasks that are not relevant to end users or the change manager or the IT project manager. So we try to focus on just that content for administrators. Um, so as you can see, uh, we, we try to think through all the roles based on our experience implementing uh, service manager that are required and try to tailor content to each of them. Um, this stuff is a la carte, so if the administrator wants to take the complementary solutions, if that's relevant, we can add, they can add that to their cart. Uh, event management, etc. they can add that to the cart. It's just, you know, go where you want to go, what you need to do, when you need to do, that's what we're shooting for. All right, so that is the role-based training, scenario-based training. So it's important that the content be role-based. I hope you can see that at this point. Um, beyond being role-based, it's like, how, does, how do people take this training up? There's lots of training that just sits on shelfware, you know, it's, it's just, or it's, it's not uh, hitting the mark. So let's, how do we get people to uptake it at the right time so it makes a difference in their performance and planning and deploying, uh, you know, transitioning and operating uh, service manager? Well, we provided in these, in these chunks, uh, we, we provided for individuals and organizations. You can go to learn.acelerus.com and if you are an individual, you can purchase um, training. Uh, if you're an organization, uh, if you're if you're if we're implementing service manager with you, we, we typically offer that as an option. Um, uh, we strongly recommend uh, bundling the training with the implementation. Or if you you've already implemented or you're implementing with another partner, or um, you know you can uh, you can buy just our training. So we offer it that way, and it's chunked down to small bits. Um, I think that's important. That's the way people uptake things today. Um, and then what are the different del delivery vehicles we have? Well, we have CVTs. You can download them. Once you download them, you don't need an internet connection. People like that. They're searchable, um, straightforward. Um, then there's e-learning, online e-learning. That's good when you have a team and you want to use uh, some of the forum functions and information exchange. Um, and that's uh, hosted on our on online LMS. That's a, a Moodle site, learn.accelerus.com or we can host it on your LMS if you, if you are going to do that. Um, that's a learning management system. One of the key things we do is virtual labs, and that is we've set up a virtual environment um, with, uh, it's got service manager instance, it's got a SQL server, it's got a self-service portal, it's got uh, operations manager, config manager, an AD instance. Um, it's all set up on a little uh, domain and a couple of different uh, servers, and you can go in and you can, uh, uh, we can, we use that for two purposes. One is we have a demo environment, we can demo to you. Okay, we just talked about setting up uh, inbound and outbound notifications. Um, let, let me show you how we do it. Let's show how it functions. Um, and, that, and then the second thing we do is to let you get into a virtual lab. So this is an option. You can purchase a la carte with the rest of the training to get in and do virtual labs um, so you get hands-on. So it, it, it's the best combination. You get in, you get just the, the, the training content you need, you get just the demos you want, you get just the, the virtual lab and hands-on that you want, and boom, you're, you're off to the races. In addition to that, we offer virtual instructor-led training. What that is is online synchronous training. All that means is we schedule a time specifically to hit one topic with an expert trainer um, or some set of topics that you're looking for for your group and it's held at a specific time. It's recorded for, for, for future reference for your organization, um, and that's virtual instructor-led training. Then we offer expert mentoring, and that, that simply is you can bundle any of these training options with some amount of expert mentoring time. That works out great. You, you, you know, people pick just the things that they want to cover, and then they get some time to talk to the expert to say, um, you know, how do I do this? I tried this, it didn't work. Uh, what do you think about that? those sorts of things. Um, so those are the modalities that we have. We have CVTs, VIL, uh, OLT, ILT, and TCD. Okay, so five modalities. Um, you know, download a CBT, 
taking a virtual instructor-led training uh, with a live instructor online, uh, take e-learning online. Um, we also provide coursework kits. If you want to um, uh, do the instruction yourself, uh, you can order hard copy kits. Um, we also do traditional classroom delivery, and we can deliver for you as well. Um, so all those modalities are, are available with uh, expert mentoring. Okay, so VIL, I'm not going to uh, beat this one to death, but I do want you to understand that that's a it's a uh, it's something where you can uh, uh, get instruction at a distance that's, that's highly effective. Um, okay, for your reference, you can look at this at your leisure. And uh, we have. Why would you choose this for service manager training? I think the role-based um, is a very is a very strong reason why you would. You know, we 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 saw a big need when we looked at the materials, the documentation, the available materials, and a gap that we we uh, aimed to fill. And I think that's that's very important. But pricing also is. We look to be very cost competitive. Um, we uh, we also, the, the delivery uh, vehicles that we mentioned, the VIL, the CBT, I mean, getting the cross and getting the uptake going, I think that's important. And then to be able to go in a la carte. Um, not to mention hands-on labs and, uh, uh, and demos, et cetera. I think that's, that's all kind of important. Also, very important, um, as I said, you know, you look at these service management tools, they are basically um, the tooling that matches to a mental model, a, a way of doing things for lack of a better way to say it. Um, just like SAP, you know, think about it. it's a way of doing uh, materials requirements planning, and then there's the tools that help you do it. If you don't get the concepts, you, you, you're probably going to bugger up how you use the tools, or they're going to go under leverage, I should say that. So um, it's important to understand the concepts behind the tools. We have a full line. We have another division for Florida Associates that has been, for a long time, been providing uh, really top-notch ICL and MOF training that gives the process and organization concepts behind these tools. Um, so we can bring those to bear as well. We've got expert trainers, we've got a full line, and all those a la carte, all those flexible options that we, we mentioned that, that, are, that go for our uh, service manager training we can also brought, be brought to bear. I can't tell you, I think, uh, how important this is. There's, there's other partners you can turn to who are strong on the tooling um, but are not strong in the process and organization. In our in our experience, that that's an issue because um, when uh, you go to configure the tool, a lot of the, uh, for lack of a better way to say it, the fights are around. Um, you know, what does this concept mean? You know, what's the difference between an incident and a problem? What do you mean by a cab, etc. So